Hey guys, we're going to walk through how to set up a domain, custom domain in your high level account. So uh, we'll walk through the steps and show you right now. So we're in the dashboard in a sub account. We're not in the agency level. This is the agency level, but you want to add it to a sub account. So you basically go in here and you're going to scroll down and look for your settings tab. So let me open that back up again. We go into settings and we're going to look for domains right here. So you got domains and you want to add a new domain. Now, if I want to add, I was just going to add parmedia.com in here. And what will happen is I get an error because we have to create a C name or an A record pointing to parmedia.com. And what will happen instead of this being, you know, app.highlevel.com or whatever, or uh, what they use is this message sender.com it'll change it to Parmedia, so it'll be custom because obviously if you build a website and for a, a client inside of the high-level platform, you obviously want their own domain. So that's what we're going to do. So the next step is to go and point this record or create a C name is what we're going to do because I, I just think it's more solid. So we're going to copy and paste this and then go over to, if you use GoDaddy or Name Silo or whatever, just go into your DNS settings. You want to get to your records. And so mine is my domains, domain settings. So make sure you're in that window. And one other thing I want to say, you know, like this particular parmedia.com is my root domain. But I could do funnels dot parmedia.com or I could do onboarding dot parmedia.com these will all be separate C names uh, so whatever you want to name that it could be demo dot parmedia.com so you can set up multiple uh, what we would call this as a subdomain and then as you build your funnels you know your funnels will all be funnels.parmedia.com or uh, whatever your domain is. So uh, that's the beauty of this with um, adding these different domains. But we'll show you how to add funnels.parmedia and the root domain. So that's what we're going to show you right now. So we're going to go in here. We're going to add our root domain, which for me it's parmedia.com or whatever your domain is. Uh, we're going to point this. We're going to add an A record instead of a C name. So we'll go ahead and do this. Copy that IP. Robots.txt, is that's if you want to discourage Google or any search engine from searching your site and you'd put a code in that looks similar to this into that field. But we're not going to do that. We want search engines to follow us. Obviously, if you're doing a website in a high level, you want that to be found. So we've copy and pasted. We're going to go into our DNS management for parmedia.com and GoDaddy. And we're just basically going to add a C name here, or an A record. So that A record, uh, we copy and pasted that domain. And we're just going to put the at symbol in because the at reflects saying that, hey, we want uh, the default uh, anytime you put in the at symbol, it, it, it defaults to parmedia.com or whatever your domain is. I'm going to set this to a half an hour and I'm going to click save and we can see that that record is there. Now, understand that could take 15 to 30 minutes. Uh, we use a tool called MX Toolbox. So we go in here, mxtoolbox.com. We'll check the DNS. And we know that it's already working. It did not take 30 minutes. It maybe took a few minutes. And we, we know it's there. So you can just double check it with this toolbox. 
and uh, there's a lot of things you can check your uh, your mail records, anything that you put in, just to make sure things are working. So we're going to go back in here. We uh, put in parmedia.com, and we're going to click Add, and bam! So we successfully added it. So uh, we could link the domain to any of our funnels or websites at this point, but I'm not going to do that right now. We want to go in here and add some subdomains. So like funnels.parmedia.com or onboarding.parmedia.com. So we're going to go ahead and add those. And I want to do one called funnels.parmedia.com. And uh, so we need to go in and create some additional A records here. So I'm going to copy this. And uh, we're going to go back into our DNS. And we're going to add another A record here. And we're going to actually add this as a C name. I like C names for subdomains. So we're going to call this one funnels. And it's going to point to this flash funnels, uh, which is right back here. So, or a C name record pointing to flash funnels, messenger, message sender.com. So half an hour, we're going to save that. And we can see that that's right there. So just, uh, we're going to pause the video, allow, uh, it takes about 15 minutes. Again, anytime you add a record, it's going to take that 15 to 30 minutes, depending on what you have. So we'll pause it and we'll come right back. So we're going to go in here. We're going to add our root domain, which for me, it's parmedia.com or whatever your domain is. Uh, we're going to point this. We're going to add an A record instead of a C name. So we'll go ahead and do this. Copy that IP. Robots.txt, is that's if you want to discourage Google or any search engine from searching your site and you'd put a code in that looks similar to this into that field. But we're not going to do that. We want search engines to follow us. Obviously, if you're doing a website in a high level, you want that to be found. So we've copy and pasted. We're going to go into our DNS management for parmedia.com and GoDaddy. And we're just basically going to add a C name here, or an A record. So that A record, uh, we copy and pasted that domain. And we're just going to put the at symbol in because the at reflects saying that, hey, we want uh, the default uh, anytime you put in the at symbol, it, it, it defaults to parmedia.com or whatever your domain is. I'm going to set this to a half an hour and I'm going to click save and we can see that that record is there. Now, understand that could take 15 to 30 minutes. Uh, we use a tool called MX Toolbox. So we go in here, mxtoolbox.com. We'll check the DNS and we know that it's already working. It did not take 30 minutes. It maybe took a few minutes, and we, we know it's there. So you can just double check it with this toolbox. And uh, there's a lot of things you can check, your, uh, your mail records, anything that you put in just to make sure things are working. So we're going to go back in here. We uh, put in parmedia.com, and we're going to click Add and bam, so we successfully added it. So uh, we could link the domain to any of our funnels or websites at this point, but I'm not gonna do that right now. We wanna go in here and add some subdomains. So like funnels.parmedia.com or onboarding.parmedia.com. So we're gonna go ahead and add those. And I wanna do one called funnels.parmedia. Dot com and uh, so we need to go in and create some additional a records here so I'm going to copy this and uh, we're going to go back into our DNS and we're going to add another a record here and we're going to actually add this as 
a C name. I like C names for subdomains. So we're going to call this one funnels. And it's going to point to this flash funnels, uh, which is right back here. So, or a C name record pointing to flash funnels messenger message sender.com. So half an hour, we're going to save that. And we can see that that's right there. So just, uh, we're going to pause the video, allow, uh, it takes about 15 minutes again. Anytime you add a record, it's going to take that 15 to 30 minutes, depending on what you have. So we'll pause it, and we'll come right back. So we're back in here, and uh, under our domains, and we're just going to add that funnels. Funnels.parmedia.com. And we don't have to worry about the robot text. We talked about that. Um, I like robots. Okay, so click Add. And there you go. So then we can connect it to any one of our funnels in here, whatever we want to do. So if we uh, had a website, say we go to Websites, this car dealership website, and uh, we wanted to connect that to a domain, we just go in here settings right here and maybe it, we could do uh, another subdomain cardiors.parmedia.com but typically this is going to be your main website in here so we'll just hit save like that we'll save it and now if uh, if we check out this domain or this uh, website you can see up here the URL is parmedia and uh, you probably can't see that. I'm going to actually bring that down a little bit. So you can see, as we bring this down, it just wants to be a bugger. Hang on a minute. So you can see it. It's parmedia.com. Of course, it's like a home whatever, a home dash whatever. But you can set it as your main home page. So uh, that's it. Folks, uh, if you haven't got high level, remember to click on that link below and order it. I do a free strategy call one-on-one -on -one with you. And uh, if you're looking to start your own business with this or uh, build it, or if you're a business looking to do something cool, just let us know. Uh, I do a lot. Uh, we can help you set them up. We have full automation teams to help you do that. And we've got an academy and a live uh, weekly coaching call that's going to be free for those that are in high level or my Sproutified, which is my white label. And basically we go in and it's a Q&A session, a one hour Q&A session. Sometimes they go longer. And we just answer all your questions that you have. So if you're having difficulty building something, we go in there and, and do a screen share and help you build it. So um, that's it. I mean, these are some really cool websites. So uh, remember to hit that like button, hit that notification bell so that you can get these other videos as they come out. Thanks and have a great one.